Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Williamsville Public Library, one of four libraries in Amherst. I'm with two very lovely ladies. I'm with Roseanne Butler-Smith. She's the library director for all four of the locations. And this is Deb Habes, who is chair of a very important fundraiser that's coming up in February. Ladies, thank you for having us thank in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've got to be honest with you. When I was told about... Uh, uh, coming here to do this segment, it was almost presented to me like you guys were the best kept secret in western New York or something. And I have to admit, as many times as I drive through through Williamsville on Main Street, I never noticed the library. And you're right next door to the town hall. Actually, we're between the village hall and the town hall. So okay. a very important location in the village of Lancaster. Yeah. And people the do. Village of, village of Williamsville. <laughs> I live in Lancaster, sorry. <laughs> village, okay. village of Williamsville. Um, so, yes, it, it's like a hidden secret that... Um, you know, the people who use it are wonderful and very happy that we're here and very happy that we're here since 2005. And you offer you offer all the things that a big yeah. library would. Right. Uh, tell me about some of the programs you offer. Well, um, we offer children's programs, so uh, you know the, where the early literacy comes into being. Mm -hmm. uh, computer programs, you could uh, classes, one-on-one -on -one computer classes. You can sign up with a librarian for an hour and they will help you work with your Kindle, your iPad. A program that you need to know, well, uh, nice. group cl uh, your classes, how to you know go on eBay, mm -hmm. anything like that. Uh, we have adult adult programs too. We uh, jewelry making, uh, book discussion. So this little library does everything that the big library does, but we're able to do it because of our special event on February 10th. Um, the gala will raise approximately 40 percent of the operational costs needed to keep this library open. Wow, and. There's a strong rumor that you can also check out books here. I don't know. Right. I mean, we'll have to well, you know, you know, if you have a library card, you not only can check out books, you can check out DVDs, Blu-rays. But if you go online, we have great databases to help you do research or look to, for information to buy that car or a home. You can download books for free. So I don't know why people are buying books when you can download them with your library card. You can download music. You can download DVDs. So, you know, that's, your library card in Erie County works at all 37 libraries, the Williamsville Library being one of them. Yeah. It, that's the best kept secret in Erie County, that library card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. And that, that computer program is, is just phenomenal. That's something oh, that right. you'd be surprised. We, we think we're so deep into the computer right. age. You'd be surprised mm -hmm. the number of people that still don't have one because they don't know how to operate. Well, you know what I find, too, is that people come even to the Williamsville Library to use our computers. We don't charge to use the computers. Mm -hmm. You only have to pay if you print. But what we're finding is that um, people made a choice at home and when they're looking at their finances. And they're coming to the library because they know we have Internet. We have a very fast Internet. Mm -hmm. So they're using uh, the computers to look up whatever they need to look at because um, they don't have the internet at home and we find now too that a lot of people are coming to the library to put their resumes together to look for jobs. Oh that's a great idea. You know and yeah. not only that look for jobs but most companies now you have to submit your resume online yeah. so we're helping people get email accounts so that they can track back the resumes that they've sent out. We're showing people how to put resumes together mm -hmm. and that's actually some of the computer classes too that we've actually held here how to put a resume together how to set up an email account because to you and I, that would be like daily. Yeah. Some people do not know that. So that's something that you can do at the library. And some people don't have kids at home, so they really need to come yes. here and learn. Or, you know, this is, well, this is what we find, too. In, in January, after the holiday season, a lot of people will receive um, a Kindle or an iPad from a loved one who lives in California. And they're not even sure as to how to plug that device in. People will bring their new devices to the library. And they'll sit with the librarian and we'll show them how to use it, how to set up an email account, whatever. So all those people who got those one of those devices for Christmas, go to your local library and we'll help you Isn't learn that to use a it. Wonderful yeah, thing. For free. Really for can. free, you know, that's the yeah. thing. It's like the gift after the gift almost. Yes, it really is. Yes, it is. Uh huh. Well, so I always laugh about that because we do see a lot of people in early January. Or, or you know now, people are coming to the library for tax forms. Mm -hmm. You know, because we, we normally supply tax forms. They're not here yet. That's not our you know, fault. It's the government not sending them out. So, oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Well, Dan Tell me all about the Mad Hatter's Ball. Uh, it must, must be a very important oh, fundraiser it if it raises 40% really, of the annual yeah, budget. Um, it is actually presented by the Williamsville Business Association. I'm a member of the Business Association. And um, this is our sixth year that we're going to be presenting it. Um, it's it's a wonderful opportunity we have found now after five years going through it for village residents and the community in general to gather in the middle of winter when there's nothing else going out, you know, outside. Um, so it's become a, a wonderful, um, happy event filled with all kinds of different um, 
raffles, silent auction, live auction. You've got some some of the baskets that people can baskets. bid on right raffles. here. Raffles. Yeah. We've got a um, this year something new. We have a um, professional singer who's going to be <clears throat> roving through the crowd. And is it a costume thing? They it call is, it a Mad Hatter. It, it's not. Um, you don't have to, you but don't have to, but I've got my hat yeah, already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we've had, oh, in the past we've had, last year I think it really topped it. We had some people, men and women, uh, that came that just got into the, the theme. Well, ladies, it's I want to thank, thank you both for having thank us no, out, and we are glad to carry the message thank for you. the Williamsville Public Library. And I, I want to remind everybody, I always think of a library as kind of an, an arc because it provides adventure, romance, and knowledge, if you think about that. And uh, the exactly. Williamsville Library is just a beautiful facility. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm very happy that you came today, and thank you all who use our libraries. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, John. And you know, I want to let everybody know that we heard about this incredible little library that could because I was invited there to go and speak about my book uh, just last week. And when I just saw how vital this was, we just had to go back and do a story and let everybody know that their Mad Hatter's Gala is a very, very important part of their fundraising. Now that gala is going to be at the Calvary Church on Milton Street in Williamsville. You are invited. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's coming up February 10th from 7 to 9.30 p.m. So please go, be generous, and uh, make sure the library that could keeps its doors open because they help so many people in Williamsville and in the surrounding area. What a great little library.